as a Catholic, Poland is like my homeland because it's, I think, the most conservative and religious country in Europe right now. So I wanted to live, of course, closer to God, but above all to my uh, moral, to my ideal. So well, I like this place. I mean, it's kind of relaxing for walking, talking, speaking, praying also. And I'm, it's near my house and usually I come here with friends and just when you want to talk you have you want to say something and express yourself, be in a relaxing environment. I think Ugursask is the best place where you can go. I read Italian think that Poland is a still poor communist country, but it's not like that anymore. It's really developed and really modern and pretty rich now. Poland, respect the other countries, your neighbors, is more similar to Italy because people are speaking quite loud. Sometimes it could be seen as aggressive, but yeah, I'm confused to it. I'm... Yeah, Emmanuel City is right there. If I don't make it, it's right there, so we should turn right. 600 foreign students, 300 of them are Ukrainians, but the other 300 are really well shared. Let's say there are a lot of people from different countries, uh, I think more than 100 countries for sure. We are, we are just 70 Nigerians, for example, 10 Italians, more or less, 8 Italians, a lot of people from the US. I, I'm, I'm sure that cool is kind of national, like in Lublin, it's kind of really melting pot because you see people coming from across the ocean just to, for the, like me, religious, more or less religious purposes, religious things. Because, you know, the, what the Pope, just the fact that the Pope was teaching there is kind of uh, attraction, a big attraction for especially philosophy students. They are amazing. I, every time I go out, I see at least one foreigner from Asia, from Africa, Spain. So I think it, uh, from the student point of view, is already multicultural. Immigration has good sides, but has bad sides. Students' immigration, I think, is 100% good. They bring culture, they bring money, they uh, open the people to, um, they help the people to open the point of view. So I don't see why not have more foreign students. They do nothing wrong. They help the city, actually. I met really different cultures that I had not the possibility to meet before. Uh, for example, uh, there was an exchange between the Kul University and a Kazakh University. So I met some people from Kazakhstan. And before I, I, I knew nothing about Kazakhstan, uh, and it was really quite quite nice experience and I'm still uh, in contact with, with them and I'm, I'm really happy to that I have this opportunity, that the university gave me this opportunity. I think Lublin is a good city but not friendly enough. Poland is open since 20 years, 30 years, so I see that mentality of people is still close. Many natives, they are afraid of foreigners and sometimes you can see that there are some problems about uh, racism, you know. You see that racism is a big uh, plug in Poland and I see it's true. And then I will introduce you to the cool student environment and about um, how he's not only studying there, but just, just crossing from one classroom to another. What kind of feeling you can sometimes feel that I think they're, they're not common in the other universities. And I will explain a few minutes why. The people, the um, everything, the, the windows, the statue, the lessons, is something amazing, it's something that makes you to reflect. It's kind of unique environment that you have to live just as you see, as you feel. It's something that is hard to express by words what you knew, what the university can give to you. You're kind of as as the Christian doctrine say, you're kind of special here. Nobody includes a number. It's kind of unique person that needs to be helped and to grow according to his potentiality and his vocation.
Many, many events, many parties, many technical day are organized here in this university. Uh, for example, we had the African day uh, one week ago, the Ukrainian day um, two, one, two months ago, and also uh, the, this young religious organization, they often organize big parties inside the classrooms during night. This is amazing. You go the day for studying and maybe the same day during night where you have been lesson just to, to have a party with your friends. And uh, this is what I think a university should do, should do, not only teach you books, but teach you how to live and how to re relate with people, how to talk with people, how to be a good person. And this is what, why the, the coup was born, to have uh, good students, but good leaders of tomorrow. And I hope to be. There are two guys from Nigeria, for example, uh, one from Turkey, yes, me and the Polish girl. And of course Erasmus are joining some classes, so I have from Bosnia, from Spain, from all around Europe, from Italy as well. And I have to say that communication is uh, not so different because um, of course it's English and of course we like the same thing like go to drink a beer, walking around the city, go to club. The only thing I have to say, humor. Humor is really different. You have to be careful because Italians, they, they um, joke about everything, even sad things, even about ourselves. With Slavic people, you cannot make jokes about the country, about uh, maybe about politics sometimes, but not about traditions, because they get mad. They don't have self-humor. And this is, this is true. Okay, they, they will deny it. Say, no, it's not true, we have, but they don't have. For, for our standard, they don't have. So sometimes you have to be careful how you talk to them, just not to offend them. While with, for example, with African people, they are laughing all the time, so you don't have this problem. So just you have to be careful about cultural differences that they're not so big. Just sometimes think two times before speaking if something could be offensive. That's, that's all I think.